is military grade self defense. It is a combination of strikes, which we teach with the style of Muay Thai. It's the use of your conventional hands and feet, but also knees and elbows. Ground combatants are called Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's what we teach. Uh, 90% of all fights go to the ground very quickly. Somebody hits you when you fall down or when you get tackled, it's very important to know what to do when you get to the ground. That's what that is about. So the rest is, is really from my guy, and that encompasses pretty much everything. Uh, we'll start with the demonstration. When? Yes. I do. Please demonstrate. So, somebody is bigger than you, potentially stronger, comes up behind you, grabs you from behind you. If you know what you're doing, that's not a problem. We're all subject to physics. It's like science. This is science. All she's doing is grabbing his hand, bending. It's forcing him to bend with her, even if he's so strong. To he doesn't want to, he still will. And then she literally rolls him off of her hip and strikes the ground hard. She maintains the grip on that hand just to make sure that he's passing by. That's an example of karma now. Now, um, by the way, nice if you can please demonstrate the uh, arm bar from the guard. So let's say that we can stand up. Both of you stand up. Bet you I can point him out. Oh, I'm sure you can. Well, if he goes to choke her, for instance, she can utilize simple technique to mobilize. Go ahead. What this does. wife are my roommates so if you want like classes with them you should talk to your mom because they live upstairs in my house. I've known Gwen and Alexander for years. I don't think I'm just in her entire room. Thank <laughs> you. 
The nose thing, though, for real, is like super effective. But the ground defense stuff, so much to it. But it's very easy to pick up. You do it very quickly. Well, MMA fighters learn this. They learn this because it's so important. Uh, martial arts used to just be about the uh, If you can incorporate that into normal fighting, that's fine. But once you took them to the ground, they couldn't punch you very good, they couldn't kick you at all. And once you got on the back, they were done. They couldn't do anything. They could stop it, they could slap at you. Uh, while you choked them or broke their arms. Which is why it's very important for MMA fighters to be very good on the ground. Even if they're big dudes, you know. They, they can get taken down. Since you're mentioning MMA, do you know about the UFC? That was created by the Gracies, the Gracie family. They're the people, that's why it's called Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They're all really, really small Brazilian people. And uh, the way that it started was Helio Gracie, the founder of that martial arts. Challenged all the best martial artists in the world. All the boxers, all the sumo wrestlers, all the kung fu people. Come. Come and fight in the UFC against my weakest son. He had a bunch of sons. His youngest, weakest son, Hoist Gracie. And Hoist, twice, defeated them all. All he did was grapple. He just stood there until they tried to punch him. Then he just hugged them, pulled them to the ground. That's all, that's all he did. That's the entire art style of, of, of the combat system. What we teach is a combination of different things, which is why some people call it MMA. But uh, we call it military grade self defense because this is stuff that we teach to soldiers. This is the question. It's a perfect question. And we will go into military combatics uh, later on. Other questions? Here. By all means. It should not be. Here, here, front, 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 front,
It smells like chloroform. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to breathe if somebody covers your mouth. First thing. But if they come up and grab, let's say they're trying to be real professional, they grab you like this, okay? And they want to try and pull you away. What would you do, Isaac? Well, you wouldn't breathe, first of all. So do it to me. You can do the same exact maneuver. You can do what he just showed if you caught that. But ultimately, if they're behind you, you can still do that stepping backwards thing uh, that we just caught. Yeah, yeah, I just. You grab like this. Oh, I Okay, uh, yeah, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, let me explain what I did. So, he, he had me drag here. I stepped just like we did before, right? We were, we got into this position, um, just like with, with the headlock from behind, and I, I couldn't get my, my hand free in order to reach for his head, so I used my elbow and I twist and it fall right over my leg. That might okay? be a better solution. Yeah. That's another thing that you can do with, with your situation as well. Right. There's a lot of things that you can do with that. Try to do them as simple as possible. The simpler it is, the easier it is to learn. Um, so, if this is something that you guys are find interesting now, or if you change your mind at the end of class and you think it's interesting then, uh, take a car and show it to your parents. Uh, tell them, you know, that this is something you'd like to learn more about. At the bottom is our website. We have uh, footage of us training uh, students last year as well. Uh, please only take the cards if you're really interested. We don't have a whole lot. Um, but yes, so excellent questions. Any other ones? Yes. Um. You know, the team or the objects is check each other. I mean, this is a really serious situation, so I don't know if this is like great thing, but um, I often he grabs my arms and spins me. Is there any like easy thing out of that, or is this just like not? Can you show me? It's like he kind of grabs my hands. It's like, like, are you trying to tackle him as he's doing? Yeah, and then he kind of like grabs my arms. I don't know, it's weird. I, is it like. Yeah, uh, never mind. It's That's alright. Uh, I'd like to keep it to, to yeah. more defensive things as well. Uh, yeah, like, I would teach you how to protect yourself from being tackled. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, say like someone comes in and grab your hands. Okay, that's a good question. So, let's, let's say that they grab the single hand, cinch it up, they use both their hands to do it. Want to be really tight. What you can do is instead of trying to struggle, you need to react right away because the longer you wait, the more he's going to be have time to hurt you. So you want to drop to your knees, which breaks your arm free. And then from here, it's not a very good place to be because he can knee you in the face, he can kick you, he can maybe elbow you if you want to let go. So as soon as you drop down, you want to get real close, step your leg past, and sweep him down. And from here, you can. Engage in the ground of it, we're going to go over. All I did was I put my foot there and then I just leaned into him and collapsed the leg. Uh, so again, so again, just with the one, just like that. If it's both hands, same thing applies. <laughs> Brace out because you, you don't want to be uh, off balance. You want to brace out like this, and we'll, we'll go over this with the bear hugs. We're going to get in ahead of ourselves a little bit, so we're just fine. But um, you want to brace out, step behind them, and then twist into them. The, the good thing about the headlock is you're already in position. That's where we start with much steps. But everything kind of builds on itself, and you'll, you'll see more of that once we get into the ground combatives. Any others? Okay, let's get into the bear hugs. We're ready to start.